Well, the Minister for Justice has condemned an attack on a Garda during which they had suspected ammonia sprayed in their face. It happened in Dublin's south inner city while the Garda and a colleague were trying to make an arrest as they responded to reports of a car theft. Our reporter, Ashley Nikushla, is at Garda headquarters for us this lunchtime and joins us now. So, Ashley, what's known about this incident? Yes, well, Colette, a fairly severe attack on a member of Angor, the Shia Khana, last night. It happened at about quarter to nine in the Basin Street area of South Dublin in the inner city. That's in and around Kilmainham. Two members of Angor, the Shia Khana, both male, uniformed, approaching a car that there was two people sitting inside. That car had been reported stolen in the Dublin region earlier this month. When they approached that car, one of the Gardaí was assaulted with a liquid being sprayed in his face. It's thought that that liquid may have contained ammonia. If it's dissolved in water and gets on your skin, it can cause severe irritation and burns. That guard, who's in his 20s and attached to the Kilmainham guard, the station was taken to hospital for treatment. His injuries are described as non-life threatening. The two people who were in the car managed to escape at the time on foot. Now, the Justice Minister, Helen McEntee, very strong today in her condemnation of this attack. She says it will not be tolerated that members of Angor, the Shia Khana, are attacked and insulted while they're on duty trying to keep the peace. And she also spoke once again today about her commitment to strengthening supports for members of Angor, the Shia Khana, outlining things like body cams. Now, while the two people in the car managed to escape yesterday evening, a female in her 30s was subsequently arrested. She's currently being held and questioned at a Garda station in Dublin city centre. And the car that those two people were in was also seized by Gardaí and will now be forensically examined. The guard who was assaulted said to be doing okay today, not life-threatening injuries, but it is thought that further medical assessment may be required. Ashley